Oh, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Rimworld. It looks so peaceful, doesn't it? But we've been through so much at this point, and... Well, you can tell by the bloodstains. We've fought lots. But it's time to move on. We've started building the spaceship, and as you can see, we've got most of the resources there, but we are getting terribly short on metal, so that's going to have to be a priority for this episode. We've run out of storage space, so that needs to be dealt with. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the stuff off that I don't want to sell, put it into different stores. And we haven't actually got that far in the redecoration project. We need to do that. We also need to finish off the defences here. And that, I think, is going to be our priority for this episode. A trade ship is passing by. They are a food trader. don't think I want anything from a food trader, but Barrow, where are you? Uh, not there. Ah, there you are, Barrow, all the way over there. And that is something we need to deal with as well. Oh, you were heading towards uh, uh, lunch anyway, so let's go and have a chat with those people, see what we can sell them. Okay, so, right, we have the defences being built here. That's going to be our priority. When that's done, I think we will finish off this area here and I want to build some mortars before moving on and then we will pick another project but uh, that's the building what we also need to do is some mining so let's put some mining orders in straight away so we'll just put that like that let's just mine a little bit more in there you never know we might find something good these guys are picking up these dead muffalo that have been lying around for ages. They're probably not very good now, but uh, they will. They will do. They'll go in the pot quite nicely. Mm. Right, we're close to a, a wood harvest, so I think we're going to clear off a lot of this wood. I'm not using a huge amount anymore, so I think if we just leave ourselves with 400, 500 of it, then uh, there we go, that's enough. That's giving us a bit more money in the pot. It's going to give us a bit more space in the storage. And I think that amount of wood will keep us going for a while. Oh, we've just filled it all up with uh, silver, though. Never mind. <laughs> okay, uh, while we're waiting, let's build some, uh, some storage spaces here. Uh, let's get some... Oh, another boom rat went boom. We've got to kill these off as well. So, what zones? Stockpile. So we'll put one in here. And in there we will store just clothing. Alright, so we don't want that, we don't want that. And we're just going to keep the stuff we want. Oh. We're just going to keep the stuff we want, so we'll keep power armor, armor vests, jackets, dusters, and button-down shirts. We don't want t-shirts. And this one, we'll take it off, so we will no longer store apparel there. And the rest of it, we're going to have to find a dump for, I think. And also, let's add another one in while we're doing it. Zone. Stockpile. Oh, no, that's no good. Elite zones. Why did that do like that? Oh, that's odd. Add a stockpile. Did the other one all right? Why is it not liking this one? I don't know. Uh, well, that doesn't matter. Let's delete, delete bits of it anyway. If it's going to be awkward, let it be awkward. I think that is perfectly big enough stock path what I have in mind anyway. So this one, the only things we will have in it are wood. There we go. And for the same reason, let's take wood out of storage here like that. Oh, you've messed me around, haven't you? That's still the same stockpile. 
Okay, right. Let's uh, do something about this. Delete zones. You clearly don't want to cooperate. So what do we want in here? We want... Manufactured goods. We want raw resources, but we don't want wood or stone blocks. Uh, we want items. We want weapons. We don't want apparel. What are chunks? We don't want chunks and we don't want corpses. So that's that one sorted out. There we go. And then we'll add a new zone. Being careful not to let them touch. There, it's a different colour now. Good. And this one, we will take off everything. And all we will store here is wood. There we go. That's that organized. That wood will then be moved out into there. While we're at it, let's clear some of this stuff down. So, um, orders, cut plants. So, we don't want that. We Actually, we don't want any of these. Uh, yep, yeah, let's cut all these out as well. Okay, and that cactus. So that's going to give us a bit more space there. And what we'll do is, we'll, anything that's left in here apparel-wise, which is going to be t-shirts and tribal wear, we will make a dumping stockpile a little bit and chuck them all in there. Okay, so let's just let everyone run. Uh, oh, actually there was one more thing I wanted to do. Um, Jono, no, sorry, John, one of the cooks, is now um, good enough to make um, fine meals. So what we're going to do is we're going to start them cooking off fine meals. Uh, so we'll suspend that and cook fine meals. Do until you have nine. Let's bring that radius in so he's just getting stuff out of the stockpile. Okay, so that's that one and this one we will change this one down so that we're only making nine standard meals so we're still making the same number of meals it's just um we're just going to make uh, some standard and, and some fine as a mix and because we've got very little veg um until that builds up i've i've put the uh, the standard meals to only make be made out of meat because we've got loads of that not much veg but as you can see down here that's changing pretty quickly. So that's this is good. Right, let's let that run for a little bit. Turn that off. Just let things go and we'll see how we go with this. Uh, there we go, we're moving stuff around. One thing I actually one thing I want to do when I'm thinking about it is I want to put some more mining in here. Let's have an exploration around this area, see if we can find anything fun. Don't think we will, but you never know. Like that. Let's be thorough. We have to start doing dangerous things if this there's no metal in here. So, oh, rainy thunderstorm. Let's get rid of some of these boom rats. Uh, we want hunt. And is there any in here? And any in here? Yeah, let's just get rid of them. Because quite frankly, they're an annoyance. You detected a cluster of cargo pods landing rear nearby. Oh, actually we could sell them. And uh, they're not too far out. Yep, let's have them. Remember to uh, stop people going out there if we get attacked, mind. But uh, there we go. Right. So, how are we doing here? Right. We're nearly done with the uh, the turrets. That's good. Uh, boom rat slaughter is commencing. That's excellent. Barrow is turning into a fine miner. Actually, I missed a couple of lines I want people to do there.
if that doesn't identify everything nothing will what's happening here oh we're being besieged how nice let's turn that off because we don't want people wandering out there to get them what we do want is some mortars being built so let's get that straightened out um, just ordinary mortars um, one. Nope, no not there Is your mining now I want you to go and prioritize working on that and Roger you're oh, you're doing a turret uh, I forgive you but you're not so you work on that mortar there we go I love the fact that he's just drops a load of metal to go and pick some metal up to work on that Are you guys still working on this no I want you to work on this sorry if you're tired he lies but let's get these done Yes, I thought you were. <laughs> it would be very nice if... I heard a, a shell come in there. It would be very nice if there was a way like... Um... Yep, we've just been shelled. Ooh did a bit of damage there and you took out Tigress's bedroom you will probably come to regret that um, right, so let's rebuild wood doors yeah we've lost a bit of power so we need to put the uh, power conduit back in but nothing serious there we go Yeah, no, come on. Let's get this built. If anyone noticed one of the uh, Muffalo flash red here, it's because they're starving. Because I think it's a bit of a bug in the game. The food, the grass, is not growing back. Um, haven't seen it before or after this uh, this version of the uh, the Alpha, so I'm presuming it's a bug in this just particular this particular one. No, you're working. Come on. I'll let you go after this one. And get some other people to do it. Alright, let's see. The, oh, look, let's look at this. Oh, that's a nice big target hit. They built a load of mortars, mind, haven't they? Where's that going? Ooh. They don't like the green lights either. What can I say? Come on. Oh. Yes, the mortars are slowing everything down, unfortunately. Right, you're eating from nutrient paste dispenser. Is it that bad? <sighs> oh, I see what the problem is. Okay. Um, because this wall is here, this is all counted as prisoner area. Oh, all right, okay. But uh, at least they're eating. Um, let's get you, John. You finish that off. There we go. Alright, now they're just getting silly. They were actually aiming for the pool tables there. Oh dear. Alright, at the moment, all we can do is rebuild. Actually, let's see what sort of weapons they have. Perhaps we can send a sniper out there. Pistol. M24, no, they've got M24, so they can shoot back just as well as we can. 
that's not quite going to work so at the moment we just have to uh, right okay they've blown up the nutrient paste dispenser how oh, nice this is going to be painful for a bit I think and it's an awful awful lot of stuff they've built but for the moment we're just going to have to take it we will rebuild later oh that's not good All right, let's get that rebuilt because that is important to us uh, lost the research table as well but that's no great loss at this point of the game right okay production hydroponics tables one there and one there and one there um, and also a sun lamp which that seems like a good place for it yep okay All right what are we doing with these uh, mortars doesn't want to do that job does he right what state are you in right you are in a good state John you are drafted I know you're one of our cooks but for now let's get some firing back going now that is a problem that is a real problem actually and we've lost one of the cooking benches as well so let's put that one down um, suspend that and we will do that one instead we'll get the simple, simple meals going hmm and a breach in the colony wall this one could be bad guys this one could be bad actually just need it there for a sec this is not going to be a good they're fleeing oh I see I see we must have taken out one of their mortars and they're all so close together as a chain reaction well guys that was possibly the easiest fight we ever had John you saved the day congratulations get back to work let's look at rebuilding this area alright so we've lost a lot of power we managed to take out both power conduits they're now assaulting the colony thought they were fleeing we'll worry about that later on right okay let's get this uh, this colony rebuilt so stone walls there actually let's get power done first like that actually hold on don't need all of that that's good enough okay and also up here and look at that they had we have three three wet roots and they managed to take out all three of them incredible right let's get some of this wall up as well because that's we are hugely vulnerable at the moment 
So let's leave it like that for a bit. Let's let it run. We'll deal with the uh, the rest of the problems as we come to them. Don't want to give them too much because nothing will get done. A combat supplier. Excellent. Barrow, where are you? Uh, sorry to disturb your sleep, but you have a job to do. And fortunately, they didn't blow that up. Okay. We didn't manage to pick up any of those, but we will. This is going to take a while. So I think we'll buy that Uzi. Uh, we don't want to sell the M24. I wonder if we can. I wonder if he's going to run out of money before we sell all these. Because there's been what, a good two or three major attacks since the last time uh, we had a combat uh, supplier come over and we've basically picked up a ton of these weapons uh, short bow we'll keep the pistol there should be another M24 on this list somewhere uh, yes we're an interplanetary uh, weapons trader and we've come here to buy your short bows and piles of spears yeah <laughs> Short bow, short bow, short bow, short bow. Pile up. Let's pile them on. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit bored with this now, to be honest with you. But 435. Yep, he's running out of money, and we've still got plenty of lists to go yet. Uh, short bow, short bow. Yep, he's run out of money. Trader does not have enough silver. We, on the other hand, have got close to 5,000 now, which is great. Plenty of space in that trading area now as well. Okay, alright. Um, I think our time is up. 20 minutes have passed. I think I'm going to leave it there. Ichabod, you're so cute, cleaning up under the mess. Could you at least haul something? In fact, let's give that order. Haul things. Let's get all this rubble hauled. And we can start rebuilding under it as well. So there you go. It was a bit of a fight. But we got plenty of resources out of it in the end. Might as well grab all this stuff while we're at it. And I'll get the next person to come along to strip this these um, pirates. And Ichabod, you've just volunteered to be the next person along. Strip Ben and Jono. Strip Mendez. Oh, they had to just leave pistols, didn't they? But never mind. There we go. Right, as I said, uh, we're over 20 minutes. I think I'm going to call that an episode there. Interesting siege. Clearly we weren't ready for it, but we won. And I think we won through dumb luck, but it's a victory nonetheless. Right, thank you very much, guys. I've been Simon Parsons. This has been The Real World. Thank you, and good night.